guys, how are you? Today I decided to do a Gigi Hadid inspired look and I will put the picture link on the bottom. Um, I hope you will like it. It took me a while and it was kind of difficult to make. So I understand if you don't like it, but I, I really do like it. And even if I don't have this on it, I would definitely wear this look. It's very simple and it's just bronzy and glowy. So I hope you enjoy, subscribe and like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with my reference photo and go ahead and apply the foundation. And I did a mixture of the Cover FX, the Maybelline, and then the Opal. And I just apply that throughout the whole face. And we're going to go with the eyebrows. <laughs> this thing is so hard to open, I swear. So I noticed that her eyebrows are really arched, so I'm trying to mimic that. So, on the reference image that I see, she has really long tail. So that's what I'm trying to mimic right now. Just kind of outlining with a dark shade. And I'm applying the Benefit Brow Gel and just brushing my hairs upwards because I notice her hairs are kind of messy. Now with the lighter brown shade, we're gonna go ahead and use it towards the front end of the eyebrow as we will use the darker shade for the end. After this, we will be using the Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe the shade is chocolate, but I'll let you know if it's any different. So we're trying to mimic hairs in the end since I don't have that hair in the end. So just do really small strokes to kind of mimic that. I'm not going to lie, this took me a while because I'm horrible with eyebrows to begin with, so bear with me. <laughs> now we're moving up to the eyelid area and we're gonna use we're gonna use the Max Soft Ochre on the eyelids and we're gonna apply some foundation on the lips as well. And we're gonna use the lighter shade on the semi-sweet chocolate palette, but anything really that kind of matches your skin tone, as you know, for your eyelids so they don't crease. And we're gonna use the Urban Decay Bait on the lid. But another alternative would have been the other one that I just showed you right there, which is by ColourPop. And we're applying that throughout the whole lid. And this is where I kind of messed up. If I could do this, I will start off with the line first and then do everything else, all these steps afterwards. But you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, and for the crease, we're gonna use the Burnt Orange by Associate Beverly Hills and apply that all over the crease. And this look could actually look very pretty together if it was just this and it didn't have the graphic liner, but it's up to you. Um, I skipped through the graphic eyeliner that I was doing on top because it came out really horrible. So my best recommendation is to apply the eyeliner on top of the lid and then after that just kind of follow the guide of your own crease, but shading downwards. So it connects sort of with your bot with your top liner. I hope that really makes sense, but it just took me a long time to figure it out. So I'm going to use some makeup remover wipes to remove all the horrible things that I was doing on top of it. <laughs> you see, so I'm cleaning up the edges now, just cleaning up everything so the lines are thinner. They're not as thick, and you can take your time. This took me a long time to figure out. This is the first time I ever did it, and that's why it looks so bad. But just to show you that, the struggle is real. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do everything that I was telling you to do before. So we're gonna apply the bake, then we're gonna apply the burnt orange on the crease. Just doing everything over again. And we're applying a matte liner. That way it's dark and very black. And this one in particular is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, which is my favorite. And we're going to go ahead and start highlighting underneath the eyes, getting, taking care of all those dark circles and cleaning up everything. So I'm using the NC30. And you know the drill, guys. Well, at least I hope you do. I did want to point out that in the image, she did have a very bright cupid's bow, so I did highlight that as well, so it kind of stands out, and just blend everything out with the beauty blender. And of course, we're going to go ahead and set with the Laura Mercier, 
and this is the Morphe brush that I always use to set everything down. If not, I use a beauty blender, which I think are great options. And then we're using the MAC Give Me Sign, just to give you a bronzy effect, which is very bronzy in the image. I'm just applying that all over, you know, on the cheeks, the forehead, just kind of like you're contouring with it. And we're using Warm Soul, even though I should have used a Sephora shade. <laughs> it would have looked so much better. But it's okay, I'll do that next time. More tutorials coming, so it's no big deal. And to highlight the face, we're using Champagne Pop, which is broken and it sucks. But there we go, just literally apply everywhere you can even think of. Your nose, your ears, I mean, <laughs> everywhere. So I decided to do it on the high points of the cheeks. I did it on the nose as well, the cupid's bow. I am going to highlight the lips as well because she seems to have really bronzy lips too. But I'm going to apply the Milk Shake Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick first. Which I like to apply with my finger since it's so light. Just contouring the nose a little bit. Alternate it to the way you like it. And if you think it's too dark, just use the other end of the beauty blender and just start taking away. So I'm going to go ahead and shape up the under eye. So I'm applying the black eyeshadow on the bottom lid. And then I'm applying the gel eyeliner. And make sure that it connects to the very top of the liner. And make sure that the eyeliners connect. Nude color of the NARS pencil in the waterline and applying the Hypnose Drama Mascara. And I did apply a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner of the eye. I'm just applying some fake eyelashes using my favorite glue, which is House of Lashes. And I will tell you the style of these lashes as soon as I figure it out. And just spray yourself down with the Fix Plus. Make sure that you are really glowy and that all the highlighters are shining through. <laughs> and there you go. You're Gigi Adid. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Spare fingers, go away. <laughs>